Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to zoom in on Camtasia using Camtasia like this. Yep, you like it? You like it? I'm gonna show you how to do it. <laughs> Before we start the video, if you haven't got Camtasia, I highly suggest you go and grab Camtasia. It is a great editing software. I use it, I think for like, for a lot of my videos for like eight out of ten of my videos i use a combination of adobe premiere pro and camtasia because camtasia is just better for adding things on top and doing animations and stuff but go to grow on youtube.com forward slash camtasia if you are new here i'm jay carter ray from grow on youtube.com teaching you how to be better at youtube marketing and online business I've been able to grow my YouTube channel to over 35,000 subscribers, 400,000 views a month, and I've been able to create a full-time income while doing that, that allows me to wake up every day and do exactly what I want. And I wanna help you do the exact same thing. So let's get into the video. Now, to, in order to create this quick zoom in, it's pretty, pretty easy, but I wanna show you a few different ways to do it because the way that I just did it is a little bit limiting. So in order to do this, let's actually get rid of these animations. In order to do this, you need to go to animations here on the left hand side. And when you do this, you can actually move the selection box to wherever you want it to be. And that will actually create a keyframe at the bar on the workspace so wherever you were on the workspace it will create a keyframe where this selection will become and then as you can see if you go to the beginning of this arrow it will actually go back to where it was before so this is what's going on now as you can see it's just zooming in right to where we actually put it now we can make this longer we can make the arrows much longer so that it takes way longer to get to where we want it to get to so we can put it like over here. So it's a slow kind of zoom. And that's what that does. We can make it shorter so it's faster. And we can get rid of the actual animation on the camera or the webcam, which is what I like to do in Camtasia. I like to get rid of the animation on the camera so that the camera stays where it is and the actual screen moves. Because when you use this zoom and pan animation, what happens is it actually applies this animation to everything that you have on the timeline as you can see this has been applied to my lower third as well so these arrows have been applied all over the gaff if you do not want this to happen and you only want this animation to be on one specific piece of footage and you don't want to have to delete it from every piece of footage like i just did what you can do is you can go to animations you can go to custom and then as you go to custom you've actually created a keyframe or an animation now at the end of this animation where this red part is is where the animation actually goes to that that is what what actually happened throughout the animation beforehand is where it starts and this is the end point so wherever the red dot is is the end point and here at the end point you can actually mess around with what's going on like you can scale up and i could let's let's not scale up on <laughs> face because that was weird let's actually move this custom animation to the other track so here we are and the red is the end so we could scale up and we could also just move this to where we want it to be and then that would just zoom in to where we just put it at when it gets to this red dot. So if we press play, as you can see, it goes right back to there. If we want to move it, we could move it over. All we need to do is click this red dot and then we can move it to wherever we want it to be. And that will be the new animation. And then if we press play, as you can see, it goes to that new place that we put on the red dot. So that is how you zoom in in Camtasia that's how you pan that's how you move around that's how you make your videos way more interesting so when you actually are saying hey go click on this you can zoom in and show people exactly where you are clicking so I'm quickly recording this from the future because I realized that in the video you're just watching or the video that you just watched I didn't show you how to actually zoom out 
and make the footage go back to the normal size because you may want to do that so i'm going to show you how to do that now so basically we'll go back to animations we'll create a custom animation here on this screen and we'll click on this dot again and we will scale this up for some reason this isn't scaling up right now i don't know why so we'll just scale it up manually by going over here and that will scale it up so if we do that and we come back through here it goes to where we want to want it to get to and then if you want to put it back to normal you just get another custom arrow and we'll put it over there and then you just basically size this back to normal so we'll do that and we will size it up camtasia does nicely click in where it should be so it's not too hard to size it back up and if you're using the pan tool the zoom and pan tool over here then it's really easy to scale it back all you need to do after you've created your animation as you can see this has created the animation on all these layers all you need to do afterhand is click actual size and click scale to fit and now it just goes right back to the normal size as you can see so that's how you zoom back out now let's get back to the past so that is how you do it if this video helped you out and you want to get camtasia please go to grow on youtube.com forward slash camtasia it helps out the channel and question of the day is what editing software do you use the most to make your videos let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video where I'll be teaching you more about YouTube marketing and online business. So stick around for that. Subscribe, turn on notifications, all that great stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.